Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to dive into becoming a Canva contributor, how to apply, what does it mean, how to get started, a couple of tips and strategies to help you succeed, and what are the benefits and challenges of becoming a Canva contributor as a way of earning passive income. So becoming a Canva contributor, I've dived into this strategy and this method in previous videos. The last two videos that I did will be linked in the description box below where I dive in deep into the strategy in order to become a Canva contributor and everything that you need to know to get started and make the decision whether it's right for you. So becoming a Canva contributor is a wonderful opportunity for anyone that's a creative that is looking to monetize their art, their photography, or they've got design skills, basic design skills. And what this does is it allows people to share their work on a global platform with millions of users, contributing to Canva's extensive library of elements. They can contribute images, graphics, and other design assets that can be used by other creators, such as Amazon KDP self-publishers, for example, which is our case. And I'm gonna look at the journey and the benefits of becoming a Canva contributor in this video. Now, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon in order to be informed on all our new daily videos talking about tips and strategies that I personally use myself in order to make a passive income online. So first of all, who could become a contributor? Basically anyone, anyone who is interested in creating visually appealing content can become a Canva contributor. So whether you're a photographer, whether you're a, a graphic designer, whether you're an artist, whether you're a creative, Canva offers you a platform in order to showcase and earn from your creations. Now the primary requirement here is to be 18 years old and agree to Canva's contributor terms and conditions and Canva will review your application and they will decide to accept you or not. So you never know until you're actually accepted into the program, and then that will open a huge door of opportunities for you, especially if you're an Amazon KDP self-publisher, because you've already been through the process of creating covers, which are basically like templates. So you can go ahead and, and once you're accepted, you can create cover templates in, uh, for other KDP self-publishers or, self or anyone wanting to create a book, create a template about, you know, the layout of the book covers for different niches and different kinds of books as well. So how to get started? Well, the process is simple. And first of all, you need to sign up, go to canva.com slash contributors, the link in the description box below. You can sign up, you can register for a Canva account. If you have not yet done already, there will be a 30 day free trial for Canva in order to try it out if you haven't yet registered for Canva. And then you navigate to the contributor section and sign up as a contributor. You agree to the terms, you read and accept the contributor agreement, and this outlines how your content can be used and how you will be compensated on each of the uploads or in terms of the royalties as well. And they'll d dig in deep and, and get you to know everything that you need to know in order to make an informed decision. And then you will upload your work. Now, they want high quality, an original link to a portfolio of your designs. What have you designed before? Was it a maybe a, a book cover, maybe an interior for an activity book for or something that you have purely designed? Give them a portfolio link to your designs or give them maybe a, a, your best PDF design uh, that you've done, a template design, a cover, a uh, drawing, for example, uh, your own illustrations, a logo, and but it works that way. First of all, there's that submission and there's the review. So after uploading your content or your portfolio, Canvas team will then review it based on their quality guidelines, what they're looking for. Approved content gets added to the Canvas library for users to discover it and use it. And once you're approved as a Canva creator, you can go ahead and create these wonderful graphics or logos or templates or whatever it is that you are allowed to create. In terms of earnings, Contributors earn a commission each time a Canva user licenses their content. And the model provides a passive income stream because your content can be used by millions of users worldwide. Now, how can you succeed? Well, there's a couple of different tips that I have for you. First of all, quality versus quantity. Please focus on the quality and the uniqueness of your submissions. High quality original content is more likely to get approved and used. Don't use AI generated content as much as possible and always be unique and always be uh, original in your creations. 
And the second of all is to understand and pay attention to trends, pay attention to the design trends and portfolio content that are ranking really well on Canva, like the top templates for eBooks or the top templates for activity sheets as well. Creating content that is in demand can increase your earnings as well, and it can play a big role in getting you discovered by other Canva users. Also optimize your descriptions. Use relevant keywords in your content's description. Make your work more discoverable to Canva users. It's like a CEO basically, but inside Canva. And remember to diversify your portfolio. Submit a wide range of content types to cater to different users and their design needs. And what that does is it increases your chances of your work being used and discovered. For example, create a couple of con uh, templates for logos, and then at the same time, create a couple of templates for worksheets for children, for example. So if someone is looking for, let's say, for example, a teacher is inside Canva and she's looking for worksheet templates, and at the same time, she'll click on your name as a contributor and she'll find your other work, which is logos and book covers and and temp, uh, planner templates, for example. So what are the benefits of becoming a Canva contributor? First of all, exposure. Your work gets exposed to Canva's massive user base. It provides you with significant visibility. You can go ahead and also, you know, be discoverable as well. Maybe uh, link your uh, um, portfolio, link your other work to your bio. Also passive income. We're all looking for ways to make a passive income and what better way it is then utilizing Canva's contributor program, which allows you to earn continuously. Once your content is approved, you can earn on a passive income basis and flexibility. So you have the freedom to contribute as much or as little as you want, fitting around your schedule, fitting around your commitments and also community. Let's not forget about that because it allows you to join a community of creatives from around the world. You get to a uh, participate in the forum as well, sharing and learning from each other. And the most important thing is if you really want to get into this is to always stay updated, always keep ahead of trends, always keep ahead of new ways to design things, new ways to create templates, um, to canvas updated uh, tools and stuff, because they're always updating and adding new tools to their platform. Now, what are the challenges? First of all, competition. Now, this is not to discourage you. This is just to make you aware so you can make an informed decision. Competition, because there is many contributors on the platform. So you need to stand out and that can be quite challenging for some people. Also, the approval process, because one, once you are approved to become a Canva contributor, which is a little bit difficult in itself, um, not all of your submissions will be accepted. Not all of the templates, not all of the logos and, and book cover templates will be accepted. They always need to make sure they meet Canva's quality standard. That is important and that is crucial and Canva has a reputation to maintain. It's got competitors as well that are fighting for their spot. So you need to be aware of that and you need to make sure that your work is always top-notch quality. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.